All right. Hey, collective. How y'all doing out there? Your girl is back with another one. And I do hope everything is going well out there in La La Land. <laughs> I want to say thank you to all the subscribers, all your likes, shares, your comments. Now, I don't know what's going on, y'all. Yeah, I mean. Now, maybe something shocking about to happen. Can we just get two spirit, please? <laughs> Alright, Destiny. That card, I know it's going to come out all the time. I'll be hoping for a new card to come out. Something that has never came out today. Did hear hmm. I think this is it, y'all. I did hear before I started the reading that somebody gonna have to take something on the chin. Also, pride is before the fall. Somebody's going to have to take a good look at um, the choices they made. I think you're about to get retribution. And somebody's about to pay consequences for messing with your destiny. do this but I think I want two more from here a uh, yep and you have change and limit this coming out yeah that retribution and just look at the change in the card. Yeah. It's so crazy that that's 35 and that's a date, which is 8-8. Eight, eight. Give me that infinity. Unlimited possibilities with this limitless. black swan and somebody did leave me something about the black swan I appreciate that like the insight yeah right on destiny hmm. don't know where this is going y'all as I never do Now, I do see um, you guys cutting ethic cords, using an, the catalyst in your life to make change, taking those opportunities, transmuting that energy to serve your highest good.
I see you walking out of doors to enter into better ones, align with your purpose. I just see you so calming. I'm just looking at the way this bear is sitting. Understanding the consequences. In regards to choices that you make. A lot of fire. I think something is really about to spark your interest. I think you're paying attention to spirit. Really tapping into your intuition. Like you focused. is all about um, rewards trust and health and it says I said that my inner voice will always guide me correctly And health says, I will honor the physical vessel that enthrines my soul. Hmm. Now I see somebody really recovering. Mind, body, and soul. Making a lot of changes in regards to diet, the heart. Now that retribution is really lining up with the health card. And just like I said, anybody that has appeared upon your health, they're facing the consequences. Yeah. You got here playing mind games and things like that right there. I told you somebody about to take something on the chin. And you have success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. With consequences. <laughs> Just like I said. Projecting out what you want back, understanding the consequences in regards to them. projecting out what you don't want. Now I see this as some type of fan, a new change in the wind. Self-esteem, 
and I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others with destiny and limitless. And you also have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to, line it up with destiny and limitless. Wow. Loving it, y'all. Got a lot of purple. And it says, I am open to seeing both sides of the situation with empathy. All right, let me see what's coming out these cards. Use all of them. Where the six over here, I mean. bottom of the deck. I forget sometimes with that dynasism <laughs> to stop about y'all. Oh, this is telling you to take big effective action. Working on improving your health, the vitality, take forward action. A period of intense work is necessary to complete something. Set goals now, engage in your talents, and do not hide your great work. Now, this might have something to do with some type of collaboration that you need to bring into balance. Now, this 30. Ooh, we got one, y'all. I love it. This is that reflection. That 4334. And because this is what this year is all about. Projecting out what you want back. This is telling you to take action. And know that you are limitless. Think it's your destiny. Hmm. I was trying to say 
that we had any more numbers up here that I like. Hmm. I think that's it, y'all. Let me see. Seven, seven. We got seven, seven here. Cause we got the eighteen with the catalyst. The seven right here with the dynamism and the limbus. Now, whatever this change is, whatever this opportunity is, that may even be fearful or burden. I think you need to use whatever that opportunity is or whatever that situation is to make change. It's a part of your destiny. Because right here it says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefits me and others. Yeah. And with the success and its consequences is I know that there is no greater goal than to love. I think you can trust in this and you got love here and heal. Now maybe you're just a healer. And you can heal through many forms. Others, I mean. Yeah. Somebody is really tapped in. And connected with spirit. Now maybe you're getting some type of uh, downloads in that regards. On what you need to be doing, but I keep saying that. And consequences says everything is connected. It says think things through, do not rush your decisions, be patient, be observant. Sometimes we only see part of a full picture. Today has consequences choose carefully and I was telling you something about going through doors now I did see let me see if I can see that card with pride because I was doing a pre-shuffle and this card came out now maybe something's behind you and I did say something about pride before the fall somebody taking a good look at their self with this mirror right here and it's just so funny. I didn't notice it before, but her hand is on her chin. But I heard that. Somebody about to take something on the chin. Now, I'm not sure what it was. It's probably going to be different for all you guys. But I'm just looking at her feet. And they like tinted with some type of gold. Now, maybe you don't walk through the fire. I don't know, boo. It looked like he came out looking pretty daggone good to me. I see you taking accountability. I see you paying attention. Checking out the scenery. Let's read it. And it's telling you to celebrate your achievements. But not by boasting. Humility is needed. An arrogant or boastful person around you may soon be 
may soon wait a minute a boastful person around you may soon see consequences from their hubris I told you somebody about to take some on a chin yeah right here yeah. oh oh I don't even want to oh all right let me just finish reading. shame is a complex emotion and there is for a reason Oh, wait a minute. Shame is a complex emotion and is there for a reason. Just like anger. But we should never hold on to shame for long. A healthy amount of pride is good. You should know who you are and what you can achieve. Do not compare yourself to others. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of that. Throughout the media, social media, spiritual community, <whistles> that it's spirit with a lot of boastfulness about their selves, like they're the only one capable of bringing certain content to the table. I don't know, y'all. This, I don't know. You got a lot of people out here critiquing other people instead of, you know. Doing what they need to do. But I'm going to leave that there. All right. Now let's pull from some cards. In the tarot, see what's going on. I just don't think that spirit wants you to fall in that trap of smelling yourself. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can be that catalyst for change in that regard. Looks like you got success in that area, though. I think you understand the consequences of that. I think you operate in love. You got love and healing right here. Lining up with one another. There even could be a situation where two individuals are healing. Yeah, I see that. And maybe, let's see what the card is bringing out before I go any further. tower but I see the sun now maybe it was a tower moment but now the sun is about to come out on trust that if you had any uh negative encounters in regards to love. You're healing from those situations. I think you're tapping into your inner child. Following the voice of your inner soul. And I'm putting that. I should have. Yeah, that's a lot down there. However, it do look like you're moving forward. Death and a rebirth. Standing up for yourself. And I told you, somebody about to take something on the chin. Or gonna have to take it on the chin. Yep. I think somebody about to find out that somebody is moving forward. And leaving them behind. Yep. 
and maybe whatever this situation is this is what you need to be uh, sharing I'm not saying necessarily your uh, own personal experience but pull from that energy to help somebody else maybe if you got a platform or something like that however you can always pull from that um, pain you know people express their um, past experiences through art song, dance Poetry, books, self-help books, podcasts. Do look like you're moving forward. Oh, you got eight eight here. Or did I say that? <laughs> so we got nine nine and eight eight. Seven seven. Some alignment is going on with two two. Uh huh. Uh, something going on with you, baby. Eighteen, about to show up and show out for you. I see some new door opening for you. Look at that portal down there. And always know when you see the aces, that spirit hand bringing it in. Mm -hmm. On the high priestess. Telling you to use your powers for good. Or there will be consequences. <laughs> now I just think you tapped in. Yeah. And it's right on self-esteem. And I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Oh, somebody's a high priestess. Somebody got the gifts. And this is all these gifts being bestowed on to you, darling. Mind, body, and soul. With retribution. Yeah. So for so long they have been denied of you, but now you done woke up to who you are. You can harness those gifts, darling. Yes. They your little sisters right up there. Now we got three 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 down here. I said something. I don't know if I said it on this channel or not, but you know, sometimes sisterhoods, I like it. I like, you know, collaborating and things of that nature. I just don't know if I necessarily like uh, initiations and things of that sort. Group, group think. You know, sometimes that stuff can go a little haywire I don't know it just gives me a sense of exclusiveness you know fraternities and yeah all these different groups and things of that nature I don't know I don't I don't, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that but that's just me Two 
much group think going on. Need to forge, and I follow. <laughs> you know, somebody always want to be the leader. Set the rules and all this kind of stuff. No, no, we ain't doing that. But that's just me. Do what's good for you, boo. Now you had the um perseverance card. I know that I can do whatever I um set my mind to. However, that's followed up with the uh three of swords. We gotta come back and see what that's talking about. I think you called judgment on something. You spoke your truth. Now maybe that got something to do with what I just said. It's funny that it came out like that. It looked like you choosing you. A lot of people out here in spiritual community that like the uh, devil and devil in various things. I don't know. Sometimes these things turn out to a cult situation. It's a little dark. So be careful. Choosing you could be a sisterhood. Yeah. You moving away from something. be a job, organization, friends, family, that, this sisterhood. But you, you definitely out. From both angles, the nine of pentacles goes in, the food bar. You might be moving to a new community. A better sisterhood. You may have liberated yourself from one. And moving towards one that's more aligned with you. It could just be a mindset. You could be attracting more like-minded people. I don't think you want to boast upon being a leader rather than uh, somebody that provides guidance. Yeah, I don't, I don't, let me, I, don't. I read the card out about boastful and pridefulness. I think you get it. I'm telling the truth. Ooh, what the what? I think this one goes like that. Yeah. Oh, snap.
It looked like a high priestess is about to have a tower moment. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Now this tower mama doesn't necessarily have to be bad. But we don't see. It is not a double consequence. And it could have something to do with some type of collaboration. Misappropriation of funds. Now, I'm not saying that this is for use because you know we got to read this for the opposition as well as you. But something is definitely going on here. And I said all that about those. Caught situations for a reason. The high priestess was ah oh god you it's like you can't escape the energy y'all <laughs> it's like you can't escape it <laughs> you can't escape it i tell you somebody about to take something on the chin i guess this is spirit that's saying it ain't you boo you just keep working on yourself and loving you but somebody out here doing something. Yeah, you moving forward, nigga. The sword is coming down on this. Whoever this high priestess is. Now she is in the upright. I'm assuming a false mask. Tell you they be out here telling you some good truths mixed in with the lie. But let's see what's going on. If it's a bad. Uh, yeah. You keep moving forward. Because whatever got you up in your head or had you in your head. Justice and a victory. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I was trying to do something to catalyst. 
Jesus, right here with fever. Now, I also want to say that this tower moment Let me see. Let me get the rest of it. Could have just been fear with that devil. Could have been. Whatever this sisterhood is, I'm I'm pretty sure it is. It's trying to cause confusion in regards to this. Yeah. Spirit is coming in. This relationship is going to happen. Yeah. Like they was trying to keep an empress in confusion, heartbroken, closed off. That spirit telling me I'm telling the truth. see a couple of stories here and I'm once I get all the cards out here I'm gonna tell them. that one first that one first yeah they was trying to do whatever this high priestess was doing trying to keep this emperor and this empress off balance ah what magic This confusion is. You see all them people trying to keep somebody separated from communicating. Yeah, trying to keep somebody in fear of this. Union? Yeah. Trying to keep somebody stuck in the past. But it ain't working. Now I see a hot lot of people trying to keep this empress and this empress. from walking into their de destiny. And whatever y'all got going on, 
existing is limitless. It's destined to happen. It's right here. It's showing. With the lovers and the family call. Now I also see somebody that might want to be careful in regards to the doors that you're entering. In regards to some of these collaborations within this community, the spiritual community. And I also see somebody that needs to step into their destiny. Whether you be with someone or without someone. It's your calling. As a healer. Whatever that be for you. I think this this was the takeaway. Whatever those doors was, I think you're leaving them behind. You're paying attention to the man in the mirror. Yeah, taking something on the chin. And I always say that if spirit can come through through a message and correct you, there's love for you. Yeah. And sometimes fear make us go into things with a sense of needing to belong. But you don't need nobody but spirit. To feel whole, I mean. Ain't nothing wrong with collaborating. Forge, don't follow. Always be able to utilize your voice, your thoughts. Yeah. Don't boast. Know that you are a part of this collective awakening. And that everybody has their own individual contribution. And nobody's con contribution is the same. Nobody is bigger or less than the other. No matter how you bring that awakening to others or that happiness, that joy. It all matters. We're all connected. Everybody's path is different. Embrace your originality, your uniqueness. Wherever it may be, boo. Just be true to you. Not to others. Your faithfulness belongs to you and the most high. The universe. If it don't feel right, it ain't right. Question everything. And just because it's written in some of these books, it don't make it fact. You understand what I'm saying? Observe everything very carefully. I hope that made sense. But that's your message, darling. Hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one.